It get hotter in the summer, yeah Hotter in the summer The winter don't stand no chance It's hotter in the summer, yeah Hotter in the summer The winter don't stand no chance Never switch on the homies in the day ones. They didn't wanna open doors, so we made some. Take a bow on these haters like I'm Trey Young. That direct deposit hitting like a bass drum. And coming, 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 coming. Keep it in, coming. Coming, 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 keep it in, coming. Never switch on the that I came up with. Ay, no new friend. All right, made it to another pickup, second pickup for the end of the week. Taking this to Florida. You got it. I mean, yeah, if you have it, yeah. yeah. Uh, one chain there. Uh, got another one loaded, baby. What's up, guys? Can't complain. Pick up drop off, baby. Pick up drop off. Pick up drop off it is. 12,000 pounds. Easy load. Alright, well, we are loaded. We got two pieces. One in the front is uh, 8,000 pounds or so. And the machine in the back, the uh, front end loader, that's uh, 12,000 pounds. So we're not very heavy, only 20,000 pounds. We got room for a small partial. So I'm, I'm looking for a very small partial. I'm hoping I could get one. In other words, the load up front is going to Florida, and the load in the back is also going to Florida. So I'm looking for something else that's going to Florida that can fit right in the middle of both of them. That's why I left some room back there. If I wasn't picking up anything else, I would move it up closer. So most of my weight transferred up front, over my front uh, over the front of my uh, my trailer my trailer tires, but I plan on getting something else. I saw I saw a pallet, I got my eye on it. I'm hoping I can get it. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't pay much, but it's a pallet for Christ's sakes. It's only paying about seven eight hundred dollars And if I can get it, that'll make it worthwhile going to Florida for the start of the week. So we made it to our pickup. It's just a, like I said, it's a small partial. You only weigh a couple hundred pounds, maybe two, three hundred pounds on a pallet, hopefully. And I'm picking it up at a Walmart. Not sure exactly if somebody bought it or they just sent it to another store. But nonetheless, that's where we're at. So that's the plan. The plan is to get this one pallet, stick it right here. You only pay like 800 bucks. Um, like 50 cents a mile, you know, but you know, that could be gas money. So I'm gonna take it. it gets me out of the, the winter, gets me into the, the summer or the uh, the hotter areas, you know, just in case you got some snow coming in this week, I'm not sure. We can go out and do some maintenance if we need to do that when we get home. I think I need, to, I need a wheel seal on one of these wheels. I'm gonna go out and do that when I'm there and start back over. 
once I get all that taken care of. So come Monday, we should be dropping off some decent money for the week, maybe get the wheel repair, and then I hit the road again. Now push it over some more. Push it over more? Yes, please. Dead center. I don't want to fall off the side when I'm going down the road. Oh, we should be able to see it then, right? <laughs> Tell me why. A little bit more. Keep going. All right, good. Perfect. Thank you all. Thank you, fellas. Have a good one. Yeah, it's all good, man. That's why I came here last. <laughs> when I found out where it was, I like, I'm going to pick this up first. I'm from Georgia. Georgia? Yeah. Jesus. Right. You're going all the way down there with that? Yeah. You know, it's amazing to me when people don't drive and they think going from here to Florida is far. It's not. Really? Yeah. I, see, if I were to drive, drive, I'd probably be there Sunday afternoon. What's today, Friday? Friday, yeah. As a matter of fact, I will be there Sunday afternoon. I do about 500 miles a day on a good day. On a great day, six. But since it's the weekend, two. All right, fellas, y'all be safe. Always play ball, never a wall. Or they mad now, cause they lost. That's on you, not on me. Lately, my phone on DD. I try to get, I try to get, I try to get. To get some peace, that's all I need. I try to get, I try to get, I try to get. To get some peace, that's all I need My phone right back on d, &D. It's like only rest if I RIP I got my wife, I got my kids Probably got a few friends that I don't need Not fake, never been fraud Been great, still a little flawed Always need sign when they call Order up a drink while I'm sitting at the bar Like, I need a strong tail, nigga make two Honey Jack with a little bit of juice CYA throwing up the dose I'm all in Lil' grub that black and blue No sauce that's dripped by Joe's For dessert I just need a little mousse I'm starving I try to get I try to get I try to get To get some peace, that's all I need I try All right, well, get. we made it close to Richmond And this is, uh... A pretty big truck stop. They got a Loves here across the street, a Pilot, and I believe a Flying J. And uh, there's a truck wash. It's like a few minutes outside of uh, Richmond, Virginia. Probably should have drove another two hours down the road. Maybe it might be less congested, but you know, I want to get the salt off the truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, run to the car wash, a truck wash here in a few. Then we're gonna head down the road. Truck wash normally run you about, I don't know, anywhere from 90 to 120 dollars, give or take. Depends on what you got going on, what you're trying to do. Normally I just get a basic wash with some rain -X. Some people said don't use rain -X, but I don't know no better, so until I learn better, I use rain -X. I normally wash out the engine bay and uh, I'll do the on the carriage if they, if they provide it or if they have it at this location. So again, normally about 100 to 120 bucks, you know, give or take. That's pretty much been the range I've been at. Truck is pretty dirty from being up north in the snow all week. So I'm hoping they wash all this off or get all the dirt off and stuff. See a closer look. Pretty dirty, you know what I mean? The longer your legs stay on there, the worse it gets, so more or less sticks on there so hopefully they uh, hook me up y'all see my three loads got this one here running down to Florida and this is where all three of them go to Florida uh, this is one load here this is two and this is three we gotta do what we gotta do to make some money out here you know hey somebody mentioned I had a pallet I could put a pallet back here too huh? <laughs> I probably could have but Maybe it wasn't there. What's up, boss? Uh, truck wash, trailer wash, rain -X, engine bay, on the carriage. The truck trailer, motor wash, and rain -X control. Yeah, y'all do on the carriage? Uh, we don't have that here. Okay, yeah.
baby. We clean, boy. We looking up now. We clean. We clean, boy. Ooh, we clean. We clean. We clean. We clean, baby. We clean. Oh, we clean. Need some chrome rims right here. Okay. All right, all right. Need some chrome rims over here too. All right, let's hit the road, man. Pretty decent compressor though. It, yeah. it was Walmart. Yeah, it was a good unit. Step in here. Yeah, I appreciate you. Let me promote Manny Compressor. Manny Compressor here in Orlando, Florida, yes, folks. Sir, if you need a good compressor for your shop, call Manny's Compressor. You always tell me about 407 466 6183. It's a small businessman. This is what. Oh, are you buying all the same? They're all the same. Oh, wow. So they basically. We got them. Well, most of them are the same. Yeah, most of the guys are saying it should yeah. be a little different, but Champion has been building the press for more okay. than 100 years. So you, you search out specifically mostly for Champion? I deal with the best, yeah. Champion gotcha, is the gotcha, best gotcha, uh, gotcha. brand for this type of compressor. Okay. So one day I say, hey, I'm going to get out of trucking, right. and I'm going to get myself hey, um, something different. You, that's smart. You know what I did? Trucking sucks. I had, to, I had to buy one of these. For, to fix my truck. Yeah. Because I oh, couldn't keep okay. up back in 2007. I don't right, know if you right, remember right. 2008. Yeah. I couldn't keep up with it. I have six trucks with them. Yeah. So I bought me one of these, put it together. My friend has had it like all over right. the place. It, it was in pieces. Okay. So I, I, I was in another shop, put yeah. it together. People saw me dealing with it. They started coming in. Can you fix mine? Right, fix right, mine? right. <laughs> Shit. That's a business. Be, this could be some, you know. Yeah, that's smart. And that's where everything began. That was okay. 2008. 2016. And then you got rid of all the trucks? Yeah, 2016. I saw my, my, my last truck. Right. And then I got... I put, so Champion's pretty much top of the line type stuff. It, uh, it's got reciprocating. So it's piston compressor. Oh, okay, okay. okay. It's not stuff would be scoop compressor. Right. No, here. those I do know. I've seen those in Ingersoll yeah. all the time. Yeah, I, I do a little bit of Ingersoll run. My, my main brand main is brand the Champion. Champion. That's what's up, man. Okay. Um... That's so what's uh, what's the retail price for one of them once they're refurbished? Uh, they go for half. They used to be, that's a new unit right here. Yeah. It's from manufacturer here. Yeah. So that goes for like seven. Seven thousand. Seven thousand. So Our both. Staff goes for like both. Around four thousand. Four thousand dollars for. Gotcha. That's your number right here. Um, it is yeah. So for about four thousand bucks, folks, you can get a very lightly used. When I say lightly used, this came from Walmart. You know they didn't use it. Because I, I saw where it came from. Slightly used air compressor, $4,000. You can't beat that price. Yeah. And we got through everything. So, so now when, when mm -hmm. they go out of here, they go with the same warranty as the manufacturer. OK, OK. So yeah. we also cover labor. So that gotcha, means if gotcha, something, gotcha. something, something happens, happens right. we're going to come, no charge. Right, 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 right. OK. Like I said, you guys can't beat that. All right. All right, let me take this. I'm still waiting. She said. Uh -huh. But, uh, the girl that handled my, my things, oh, I didn't even know that my thing was on the truck already. Yeah, I picked it up Friday. Uh, let me get
get that off. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Let's cut it off here. Uh, just that one track in the just, back. Just the one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I need to sign this? Yeah. Um, Go right there. No, you want to, yeah, you want to make a copy for it? Yeah. But I'll, yeah. I'll strap it? Okay. Okay. So we made it to the second drop. I'll bear with me. Made it to the second drop. This bulldozer coming off right here. And then uh, we're gonna head down the road and drop those off and we'll be done. Yes, please. I gave you the keys. Yeah, yeah, you have them in, out there? Yeah. It's got the uh, the lock for the articulation. Yep. It's locked okay. and um, shut off. The master switch? Yeah. This your only ramp? This your only ramp? <laughs> ah, there. We're supposed to be getting new wood for it. Yeah, y'all need new wood. This is crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, that needs to be replaced. Do you know where the switch is at on this thing? Um, it's it's probably a door on the other side. It's a door on the other okay. side. When you're in Florida, man, you gotta watch your surroundings, man. You never know what you might find out. At least in my head. Snakes, alligators, who knows? You found it? Thank you. 